Hi everybody, my name's Mike. In today's video, I'm talking about bikes. Ha 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 ha. Okay, um, today's video, blah blah blah, Da Vinci. If you're building a new bike or just replacing your current frame, then you probably know there's a ton of options out there for all mountain and enduro frames. Most of those options have super similar pricing, but in today's video, we're gonna talk about why this 2020 Da Vinci Troy is probably the best frame for your buck. What's up guys, I'm Mike from The Lost Co. And in my hands right now is a 2020 Da Vinci Troy carbon front triangle, aluminum rear triangle, frame only option. Like I said in the intro, there's tons of frames out there and most of them have super similar pricing. So generally that's not really the deciding factor when you're looking around for frames. Most of the time it comes down to how it rides and most of the time you've probably demoed a bike before you do a custom build or replace your current frame. But in this video, we're gonna give you an idea on how the Da Vinci Troy rides and why it might not be necessary to even demo one before building up your custom da vinci and also why this is just an amazing value for how much you're paying first off let's talk about the price of this troy frame this frame right here sells for 2699 bucks yeah that's a lot of money but when you're comparing it to other frame only options out there this is actually quite the steal for what you get this frame has a lifetime warranty. Yep, that's correct. So if you build a bike that you're gonna keep for many years, then I'd recommend keeping an eye out for warranty. A lot of carbon and aluminum frames out there only carry generally a three year warranty. So for $26.99 with a lifetime warranty, that's a pretty awesome value. Um, cool, now I'm just gonna talk about um, uh, some other stuff. And when you do buy this, you're not just getting a box with a frame in it, you're also getting a bunch of other goodies that make this a super good value. For suspension, this thing is specced with a RockShox Deluxe Ultimate Rear Shock, so the Ultimate has the best possible damping out of any of the RockShox lineup for the rear shocks. This thing is a two position, so it does have a climb switch, and also does have adjustable low speed compression. The Troy frame has 140 millimeters of travel in the rear, so this does not come with a super deluxe because this bike isn't necessarily intended right out of the box to just do a ton of bike park and huck to flats all day. It's really more of an all mountain and aggressive trail frame. When you do bump up to the Da Vinci Spartan, which is 165 millimeters of travel in the back, that thing's got a super deluxe with the piggy back on it because this thing right out of the box is definitely meant for a little bit more aggressive riding, lots of bike park, and just straight up balls to the wall shred. Also this frame comes with a dropper post. It's got a RockShox reverb included. <laughs> All right, hold up, before you yell at me, this is the new RockShox reverb. This is not the old one that had a lot of issues, but the new reverb has a bleed valve built into it so that if you do get some air in it and you got that little bit of a dreaded dropper post squish, then you could basically just hit that bleed valve, let the air out, and you're good to go. The new reverb is pretty sweet. It also takes like half the force to make this thing go down. I'd highly recommend it. I'm actually looking forward to running one of these myself, and I'd never thought that I'd say that I was looking forward to riding a reverb. If you do look around, most frame only options don't include a dropper post. So including a $400 dropper post with this frame is pretty sweet. And on top of the seat post, it actually includes a saddle. Don't really see any frame only options that come with a seat. That's pretty sweet. Up front, this thing also includes a headset from FSA. So you don't have to go digging around the internet and freaking out about which headset is right for your bike. This one just comes with one. A lot of frame only options do come with headsets, but some don't. Down below, this thing has a bottom bracket. It's got a SRAM dub bottom bracket. If you are using a new SRAM dub crank, then you don't need to buy a bottom bracket, which saves you another 40 bucks. If you're using Shimano or something like this, this might not come in handy, but hey, if you're using SRAM, then you're in luck. Out back, of course, we do have an axle, pretty standard, most frame only options do come with an axle. And one other thing that I wanted to touch on, which most frame manufacturers don't do for you, is that this Da Vinci already has the internal dropper post hose and the rear derailleur housing ran through the frame. So that's gonna save you some time when you're building this thing up and not having to struggle with things. And on the housings inside is what we call wizard sleeve which is basically just a foam tube that goes around the housing. Seems very simple, but most brands don't include that. So this thing is super silent with the internal cables. Also in the box, you do get an extra one. So when you're running your rear brake hose, then you can install that on there and keep this thing super silent. Cool, and now that you guys know that this is a super good value for a frame only option compared to other brands, now let's talk about how these Troys and Spartans ride. So Da Vinci's suspension in the rear uses a split pivot design. On the trail, this is gonna feel very very similar to a bike that has a single pivot or linkage driven single pivot design. The split pivot rides super, super playful, but at the same time, it does have a little bit more of a neutral feeling with braking. Some frames that have a single pivot design or a linkage driven single pivot, like the Kona Process, you can feel the braking a little bit, whereas with the split pivot design,
design, like with the Da Vinci's, you are not going to be able to feel that quite as much, even though it is only really a small detail with modern frames and how their design is made up at the desk with the engineer. Typically, everything's riding pretty smooth, but with that split pivot design, just naturally, it's going to ride a little bit smoother when you are pulling on the brake and riding through bumps. And while we're back on the rear end, this thing does use a super boost, which is basically just DH spacing, rear hub spacing, which is 157 millimeters. So when you combine the split pivot suspension design with a 157 rear hub spacing, you get a bike that's not only super playful, but also super, super stiff. So one thing that I wanted to point out is that since you are getting a carbon front triangle and an aluminum rear triangle, a lot of people will say that they want a fully carbon fiber frame, including both the front and the rear triangle, but with a 157 spacing, even though you've got aluminum rear end, it's not really gonna be any bit of a noticeable difference in the flex between a carbon and aluminum rear triangle with that 157 millimeter rear hub spacing. And also the weight between a fully carbon and the half carbon frames with the Troy, it's not really gonna save you a ton of weight. I don't really think that that's gonna be the deciding factor. With the carbon front triangle and the aluminum rear triangle, you're saving $500 compared to the full carbon fiber Troy frame. Is this worth it for the little bit of weight savings? Not really, I don't think so. I think with how this thing rides compared to the fully carbon frame, I would recommend saving 500 bucks, putting that into either a nicer fork or some nicer components on this thing, or just throw 500 bucks in your bank account and go on a sweet riding trip with your new bike. To save 700 questions in the comments, yes, you can put a water bottle in this frame. It's actually got two different spots for mounts. So if you do put a larger piggyback shock, on this frame, you can just simply move it up and still have a water bottle up a little bit higher. Da Vinci designs the Troy and the Spartan to both have a pretty friendly linkage ratio in the rear. It's not super duper progressive, it's not super duper linear. Typically when people hop on a Da Vinci, they realize real quick that they don't really need any time to get used to them. Whereas something like my Process 153, and I'm not trying to say that bike is not good for a lot of people, but it's got a real, real short end and it's decently linear. It took a little bit of time to kind of find my way into the bike and and figure out exactly how to ride it to make the most of it. Whereas the Da Vinci's, you literally just hop on and feel comfortable. There's really no learning curve. And that's what you'll pretty much find out from anyone that's demoed one or owns one. With that linkage ratio out back, you will find that you're using that 140 millimeters of travel pretty efficiently. But when you do get to the bottom of the travel, you don't really feel a harsh bottom out. So it's decently linear, about three quarters of the suspension travel, but when you get to the bottom, it's pretty progressive, and I would definitely say that it's safe to run a coil shock with a linear spring on this thing. But at the same time, since it's not very progressive off the top of the stroke, it's gonna feel super supple and just comfortable over small bumps. So that's the Troy, 140 millimeters of travel out back. It's made for a 150 or a 160 fork up front. And then behind me over here, this is the Da Vinci Spartan. It's got 165 millimeters of travel in the rear. Both of these are for 29 inch wheels, but are also available for 27.5. So if you're like me and you want a little bit smaller wheel, go that route. But if you want a trail smashing bike to just kind of do everything really well, definitely go 29er. Spartans in the frame only option sell for $31.99 because they are available in only a full carbon frame. So a carbon front triangle, carbon seat stays, and carbon chain stays. The Spartan, since it's meant for more travel, more aggressive riding, comes with the Super Deluxe. Of course, also has a bottom bracket, that brand new RockShox Reverb, and a headset, and still has all of the cables and housing ran through the frame. Also, if you're looking for a metal bike, the Spartan comes in a alloy frame only option, which is $2,199 and still comes with headset, bottom bracket, hoses through the frame, and the new RockShox Reverb. That is seriously an awesome deal. If you guys have any questions about the Da Vinci Troy or Spartan frame options, if you'd like to build a custom bike, give us a call at the shop, 360-306-8827 or Give us an email, info at thelostco.com. Otherwise, you can click this link right here and go over to the Da Vinci Frame page on our website and order one of these bad boys up. Definitely shoot us an email if you're doing a sweet custom build. We'd love to help you out with all the other parts as well. Until next time, happy trails.